Now let's look at what happens when pampered theatre kids grow up and become full-time idiots. This lot put on a play of sorts outside the White House Correspondents' Dinner featuring IDF soldiers murdering civilians in cold blood. Staying in Washington, D.C., time to check on some climate craziness. Watch as this woman tries to vandalise an artwork at the National Gallery of Art. Thankfully, it had a protective case around it, but she did her best. All they do. She's a mum from Brooklyn and she's headed to jail for vandalising that Edgar Degas statue. She's been out sentenced to 60 days in prison. Enjoy that. Our good mate, the incorrigible Texan himself, Alex Stein, primetime 99 Alex Stein, he took his gaze for Palestine shtick to New York and, you know, no one makes lefties lose it quicker than Alex. Gaze for Palestine! <laughs> Don't throw me off a roof! In Palestine, they often times have to run to Israel. You're not allowed to be openly gay in Palestine. Why are we talking about gay people? Do you think they kill them? Do you think, them? Do you think they kill them? Do you think gay men get killed in Palestine ever? For being gay? Yes. Have you have any reports of that? Do you have any? Show me. Show me a report. Oh okay. Show me a report. This is the moment for action. Is this jokes? No, no. We're live on YouTube. We're trying to get some. Channel? Like you like smiling, huh? No, I'm just trying to. Yeah, it seems person. funny to you. It seems funny. Whoa, well, okay. Now everybody's getting mad. No, I hear you. Oh my God! To California now, where riots are breaking out at UCLA, as students are forced to protect themselves from the mad mobs taking over the university. If you're wondering why students don't feel safe at UCLA, have a look at how this young man was chased down and forced to submit. But I have some good news for you. This wonderful footage of frat boys from the University of North Carolina standing up to the campus Marxist to protect the American flag. This iconic image of the young men standing tall despite being attacked is, uh, well, I think it's going to be remembered for a long time. And good news, more than $300,000 has now been raised to throw those boys an epic party. Fantastic. There's hope for the kids yet.